right here. This is Mr. Evil Cheese, and this is my review of the NECA Dawn of the Planet of the Apes Koba action figure. And let me just scoot this up so you can actually see him. There he is. Okay, so I already reviewed the Caesar figure, and he was really awesome. Very awesome. And this one is really awesome, too. I haven't opened him up yet, but I can just tell he just looks really cool. And I was very surprised when I seen these at how cool they are because I just wouldn't expect Planet of the Apes figures to be so nice and awesome, but they are. So, okay. So this is Koba, and there's the back of the package. I still don't have Maurice. I was going to get him today, but they didn't have him. Stupid jerks. But okay, time to open him up. So there is Koba out of the package, and he is a scary looking ape. Ugh. Like I said, Caesar is mean looking. This guy is just scary looking. Like, what the hell is this guy gonna do? I mean, he's got fur and stuff ripped all off of him, and it looks like he's got some kind of scar or some kind of infection or something on his back. I don't know what all that is. Got some fur problems, that's for sure. Ripping off of him. And, uh,. If I remember correctly from the first one, Rise of the Planet Apes, Koba was the like the leader of the apes when Caesar got put into the place with all the apes, you know. And uh, Caesar kind of used his intelligence to defeat him. And then eventually Caesar gave him the ability to be smart like him. And he became one of Caesar's buddies, I guess. So he's freaking crazy looking. And he's got the skeleton paint, just like um, Caesar does, although he doesn't have the red on him. And uh, the face paint don't look as much like a skull as it does on Caesar. But it's still really creepy looking, and that's awesome. Now as you can see, Koba comes with this really long spear that has like this thing on the end, the blade on the end, that looks like it's like a dragon tooth, whatever, that they used to kill White Walkers. Hey. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, the White Walkers attack. It comes with different hands. See, these are the hands that are just like, for not really holding a spear, just kind of casual hands, just standing around, thinking about things. And he comes with these alternate hands, which could hold his spear. Like, you know, this spear. I'm not talking about his little monkey spear. And when I say monkey, I mean like, whatever kind of ape he is. Not monkey. Holy hell, look how long that spear is. This guy's definitely compensating for something. Man, how was he the leader? Like, he he became the leader because he's so, like, insecure. He had to be like, and fight everybody because, you know, he's compensating. But uh, just like Caesar, the sculpt on him is freaking amazing. Like, the fur and everything is awesome. He's just got a really angry looking scary face. I really like that. Very detailed, scary, angry ape face. Fur, fur is so detailed. I like all the the patchy spots where the fur is coming off. And uh, the paint job shows it too. Shows where like, you know, the fur is getting thin and where it's just completely bare skin. And uh, I don't remember all these scars, but it's been a while since I watched the first one. And uh, it's got these dirty feet. He is. Damn dirty, eh? You can see he's got a messed up ear. His fur's all disheveled and crazy looking. He's a crazy monkey. If you look closely at his eyes, if I can get this to focus, let me get some more light on this. You can see he's got that one eye that's all white. I guess he's blind in that eye. And, uh, and then his other eye just kind of looking off to the side like, What the hell are you looking at over there? You looking at my eye? Maybe he's, he's a your doomed monkey. You're doomed, doomed, if you go to Camp Crystal Lake. Here's a comparison to Caesar, so you can get a little look, see, like they got different face paint. His is more like the skull face paint, it's got the teeth on his lips. He's also got the red. His is like more just plain old white. Guess he ain't too artistic when he's putting on his face paint. But they both got the ribs. It seems like Caesar's got a lot more going down his arms and everything. I don't know if that all has to do with Caesar being a leader or not. I don't know. But 
they're both really cool. As you can see, like his fur is a lot more shaggy because this guy is just a beat up looking ape. But together, they're pretty scary looking. You see these two coming at you. You better run away. So yeah, if you can see that, his spear is like really freaking long compared to his. Like, I don't know why. I guess it's just, that's the way it's supposed to be. Articulation is pretty much the same as it is on Caesar. He just moves at the shoulders like a ball joint. He's got that ball jointed head, moves at the elbows, wrist, at the torso, at the hips, at the knees, and ankles. So, he's just pretty well articulated. So, this is my review of the neck up Dawn of the Planet of the Apes Cobra figure. And he is really awesome. I love his paint job. I love the sculpt. Really nice articulation. It's overcompensating spear. It's really cool. And you can also stab White Walkers with it and kill them with one stab. That's amazing. Um. And, uh, I'm going to review Maurice, I think, if I get him, if I can find him again. Uh, I didn't buy him the first time I seen him, but now I want to get him. Yeah. But, yeah. Check out the other videos and the, the, the Dismiss the Evil Cheese. Yeah, that, that's who this is. Okay, go back. <laughs> <laughs>